Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Critical Synergy at Play, the place where we come to think and we come to learn about thinking in the English language arts classroom. Critical thinking skills, really easy young people, a six step process. And I'll explain each one of these processes as it applies to reading and comprehension as we progress through the presentation. So, young people, you must connect the dots of information that give you a mindset for what is exactly going on as you read. So, when you think critically, you're able to comprehend very well. You've got to think, young people. And thinking doesn't necessarily come easy or to everyone, but practice makes perfect. But if you think you can, and if you think you can't, you're right. Mistakes are a fact of life. It is the response to the error that counts. You have to think, young people. He who asks a question is a fool for five minutes. He who does not ask a question remains a fool forever. Can you dig it? First up in critical thinking skills is knowledge. Knowledge. Who, what, where, when, how. Describe it. What is it? It just asks that you identify and recall information, either from the reading, from the video, or from the displayed text. Next, the next skill is comprehension. Can you organize the facts and ideas? So, summarize, paraphrase, retell the story in your own words. Can you pick up the big picture, the main idea, and what differences exist? So, the comparisons. And can you do a brief outline while you're reading or after you've completed reading? Apply. Now, this usually comes from informational text. And also, in mathematics class, you can use the applications of the equations, the principles, so forth. An analysis, separating a whole into smaller parts. What do the parts do? How do they all work together? How can you take them apart and put them back together again? A Venn diagram works very well with this. Also, a, um, a pyramid scale works well in analysis too. Synthesis. I always like synthesizing. That means you're putting two things that are very different together and you're making it one. How do you guess what is happening by the two ideas being made as one? What solutions would you suggest for A and B to equal what? C. evaluation. What do you think? How can you explain what came first, second, third, according to the text? How do you decide what to do next if you don't think first? So evaluate is to take all the information and measure to see if exactly you are Right. 
Good question words, good question words, good question words. Why, how, how and why. And it never hurts to ask a good question. Any question is a good question. So, have a good time at our critical thinking party.